Hello everyone! It's finally time to review the latest version of the Movie Studio Video Editor by Magix. And yes, it's not a mistake on my side to call it just a Movie Studio without adding Vegas to it. Magix is a German developer that owns Vegas software since 2016. After releasing the Movie Studio 18 last year, they've effectively started the history of this amazing consumer video editor from scratch. In this video we're gonna find out together what has changed in the new version of Movie Studio. More specifically, we will be reviewing the Movie Studio 18 Platinum Edition. Unfortunately, Magix has removed some cool features that were in Movie Studio for years. They've added a few nice things though. In this video we will go over new features and try to highlight the main difference between versions 17 and 18. Later on, I'm also planning to release a more in-depth review of this software. Do not forget to subscribe and like this video if you are interested in a full review of Movie Studio Platinum 18. A side note, if you are planning to buy any of Magic's video or audio editing software, be it Movie Studio, Vegas Pro, etc., feel free to use my links in the description. Quite often Magix brings special offers and coupons to get additional discounts. I will make sure the description of this video is always up to date with the best deals. Now let's find out the main difference between Movie Studio Platinum 17 and 18. Just by comparing the Movie Studio Platinum 18 on the left versus 17 on the right, one can clearly see that we are dealing with a completely different beast. The user interface is very distinct from its previous version. Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 17 strongly resembles the more professional Vegas Pro video editor. On the right, you can see a screenshot from Vegas. Magix Movie Studio Platinum 18, in contrast, reminds the other video editor from Magix, which is called Movie Edit Pro. The screenshot on the right is made inside the Movie Edit Pro. Now there is a simple explanation. Unfortunately, while previous versions of Movie Studio were all based on Vegas software, it is not true anymore starting with Movie Studio 18 released in August 2021. I really enjoyed working with Movie Studio. Before the latest release, it was the best consumer video editing software money can buy. The only worthy competitor to it was the Filmora. Anyone who's familiar with Vegas products could easily start creating a video using all the traditional tools and shortcuts in Movie Studio. There were quite a lot of effects, transitions and color grading tools brought from Vegas to this very cheap beginner-friendly video editor. The latest Movie Studio 18 does not use Vegas software under the hood. After comparing it to Movie Edit Pro, we can clearly see that it is now just a rebranded version of Magix's own video editor, which is not related to Vegas. On the positive side, the new Movie Studio is even more beginner-friendly than its previous releases. You can jump to creating a new video project with ease and be more than satisfied, especially if you've never used previous versions. Movie Studio Platinum 18 has a set of hand-picked effects and transitions borrowed from Vegas. It is still a nice beginner level video editor. One cool tool that was in version 17, which is called Color Wheels, is unfortunately not available anymore with the latest release. This is not surprising as this tool is considered way too advanced for a consumer video editor and is a part of a professional Vegas Pro software. On the bright side, Magix Movie Studio 18 is now using the latest Infusion Engine 3 with hardware decoding and preview enabled by default and supports Nvidia, AMD and Intel Iris graphics out of the box. The preview performance and export speed have greatly improved. Multi-GPU mode is now also supported with every edition of Movie Studio. Another new feature added to Movie Studio is layer masks. You can now choose which part of the frame should get the effect or transition applied. Fine-tuning of specific areas of your video is now greatly improved. The text tool has received a lot of change. You don't have to create animated 2D and 3D text from scratch anymore. Most of the popular animation styles are now templated and you can customize each template or just apply it instantaneously to your video. Movie Studio Platinum 18 adds support for 8K videos export and preview without any lag. This is provided you're using a powerful graphics card as Infusion 3 relies on GPU acceleration. The user interface of version 18 surpasses its predecessor by adding support of high DPI monitors. It now looks crispy no matter which monitor you're working with. One more new feature is image border effects. 
It is useful when editing vertical videos shot by a smartphone. You can now easily adapt them to the 16 to 9 aspect ratio almost automatically. Overall, it is hard to name every difference between Movie Studio 17 and 18, as this software has changed to something completely different. You may also want to check my article where I review Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2020. This should give you a clear idea of what the new Movie Studio is capable of, as it is basically the same software, but in a different wrap. Later on, I will also publish a new video where I will provide a closer look to a Movie Studio and some tutorials on how to use its features. I guess that's about it for the main new things in Movie Studio 18. Let me know if this video was helpful. What do you think of the new release? Would you keep using this software or would you prefer something else like Movavi or Filmora? Perhaps it is time to switch to Vegas Pro and get all the best features from Movie Studio 17 back and even more professional tools at your disposal. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.